Silvio from Schmaby here and today I wanted to talk about a topic that I find very interesting which is fictional musical instruments. Now this is a trope that is not as big as some of the others like fictional food, fictional animals. Um, I believe that TV tropes calls this trope of naming something mundane with a made-up word calling a rabbit a smirp. So I'm not the biggest fan of calling rabbits smirps because if it jumps like a rabbit, it looks like a rabbit, it's a rabbit. But I think that with musical instruments there is a lot of space for creativity. And today I wanted to compile a short list of five favorite or five, or five <laughs> definite um, fictional instruments that I read about all over the years and just like. Number one, Bali Set from Dune Universe by Frank Herbert. I was never big on the David Lynch adaptation and well Dune has a special place in my heart it's my favorite book of all time and I was never too big on his vision I don't think it's a particularly good film but there are some enjoyable elements and one of my favorites is the prop they created. Palisette is a fictional instrument, nine-stringed instrument, which is favored by troubadours, played also by one and only Gurney Halleck, warrior poet. Uh, Paul Atreides played it as well, but there is only one master. It is described as a descendant of Citara, I hope that's a proper pronunciation, which is a real world a Greek precursor to what we know as a guitar today. The prop they use in the movie is quite a bit different from its description because it was created from a Chapman stick, uh, a 1970s musical instrument, but the way it looks, I always found it very charming. Number two, VC Sonar from Foundation series by Isaac Asimov. So this is a more abstract example because VC Sonar is a mind expanding, mind altering instrument. It is used by a character, a villain of the series, the mule in the second book, Foundation and Empire. It's in equal measure an instrument and a drug <laughs> of sorts. It's like physical manifestation and it, essentially a musical instrument that creates an LSD effect of some kind. And since this is the 50s, not in the book, but the book was written in the 50s and psionics and that sort of general trippiness was uh, very prevalent in the science fiction works of that time. It does have that effect. To quote uh, a scene which describes it being played. His long fingers caressed softly and slowly pressing lightly on contacts with a rippling motion, resting themselves momentarily 
on one key, then another. And in the air before them, there was a soft glowing rosiness, just inside the range of vision. This dishonor itself is significant because it has spawned a lot of parodies, homages, ripoffs <laughs> all over the years. I mean, one probably the one uh, the people are familiar the most is the holophoner, which is used in Futurama. A holophoner? It's a musical instrument from Tala's home planet, Salea. It combines musical tones with holographic patterns. Uh, it, looks, it looks different from the foundation one, but the, the effect is basically the same. And there's also, to name a few, uh, a trip-inducing instrument used by Minbari Race in a Babylon 5 TV show. And I believe there was something very similar in one of the Samuel R. Delaney's works from the late 60s. And there are, there's a myriad of examples. Uh, if you can remember any, please write them in the comments. Number three, a Miao's instrument from Kill the Dead by Tenneth Lee. This instrument doesn't technically have a name. But since it was played by the titular character, I will refer, it, refer to it as Miao's instrument. It is described as a bizarre contraction. Uh, it's like a lute with two fretboards. Each one of, uh, of them is hollow and has a hole, and it has a flute's mouthpiece attached to it. Um, and what's interesting about it is it is not a real instrument in a sense that it was not meant to be played. It's a con <laughs> job, essentially. It was um, cobbled together by a con man from different parts of broken instruments. And uh, the character Mial was getting a lot of beating from his mentor and guardian and he was dead set on learning to play it, even though it was, from a glance, impossible, but he made it possible, which is why I find it interesting. And number four, the Unseen University Organ from Discworld series by Sir Terry Pratchett. Bloody Stupid Johnson is a genius inventor with an even better name who is responsible for a lot of the technology in the Discworld universe. And uh, he has invented the enormous organ in Unseen University of the Ankh-Morpok Opera House, as well as the Unseen University itself. He's also responsible for, I believe there is a vampire castle in uh, Carpe Jugulum, which plays horror music um, effects only. <laughs> And uh, it's such an incredibly complicated, multi-layered, huge instrument that the only person who can play it is the librarian, the orangutan, and he has to use all four of his limbs to do that. And uh, <laughs> it's just the way it's described and just trying to picture it, it's just super fun. Number five, Harolina from Redwall series by Brian Jacques. So this is a plucked instrument. It's like halfway, I believe, between a lute and lyre, maybe. And it was played by a character, character uh, Tarkan Woodsorrel. And <laughs> he also used it as a weapon once or twice. And uh, it is number five here solely because imagining animals, little animals, especially mice of any kind, playing instruments, tiny little instruments, is just adorable and great and something really awesome to imagine. So this is my list. 
Shut up, refrigerator. Why are you buzzing right now? So, this is my list. What are your examples of favorite fictional musical instruments, if you have ones? I'm sure there's more than five. I mean, honorable mentions would include basically anything by Dr. Seuss. There's so many um, Dr. Seuss examples, but I did not include them because they're all just pretty much oversized horns and stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.